Hi and welcome back. Uh, see, I got the garage door open. It's kind of, I won't say nice outside, but it's still hot. So that's nice to have a little breeze. I think tonight we're gonna work on the spot we cut out and then clean it up. Maybe uh, put some weld through primer on it. Uh, mark one of those pieces, cut it and try to get it fit up in there. And uh, thinking about doing something kind of different to get more metal to melt the spot weld the uh, piece into, because right now it's just one little piece of metal on the uh, fender. And I like to have at least, you know, two spot welds there, if not more, but uh, I'll show you one thing about doing over there and uh, just, you know, clean up and get it ready. If we get it ready, uh, I may try to weld it on and try to uh, butt seam weld it or seam seam weld it. I'm uh, not very confident that's gonna be good or turn out good because I've never done that before. So we'll try it. If it's you know messed up, take it off and I guess it's buy another piece and redo it. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll figure something out. Anyways, let's go over there and look at what we're gonna do. I believe what we need to do first is uh, kind of clean this up and clean this edge up, clean all the burrs off of it, and uh, grind off all the paint on both sides. Need to push this back. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of kind of out. I'll push that back a little bit. Grind that spot weld off and get that rust off that. I think there's enough there. I can spot weld too, you know, at least a couple places here. And I can get one right there. Think about cutting this flat <clears throat> and then getting a piece of that uh, new material and stepping it down and fit it right in here. And then butt weld it on the back side, or I mean, spot weld on the back side, and then uh, weld the seam right here. And that should give you enough, you know, strength. So I'm going to take it back, back here a little ways. And uh, hopefully that'll give me enough strength to do a spot weld here and a spot weld here. And then we'll try to seam weld it all the way up and over. But uh, right now, let's just clean this up and kind of bend this back. I think, sorry. I think that one's good on where it is. But this one could use just a little bit. Push back that way. Anyways, let's get to working on that. Alright, now I think we're gonna put this up there and mark it so we need to cut it out.
cut it straight. I know it's gonna be a little bit too big, but we'll uh, trim it down as we need to get a good tight fit. There she is. We'll uh, clean it up a little bit and see how it fits. Let's see how well it fits up now. I think a little needs to come off from down here. I'm pretty happy with the fitment, other than this huge gap right here. Probably gonna have to try to bridge weld over that, but I think I think it'll turn out good. I mean, it's I think it's right where it needs to be. Take a look at the back side. It's gotta be come in a little bit. I think it, I think that should work. It's relatively, I mean, it's flat through here. Only thing that's kind of messed up is uh, this radius of this isn't quite like the original. It's more rounded. This one's more of a square, if you can see that. But I, th I think we can uh, get it to work. And now, since we got this done, I can start cutting up this. Probably gonna cut like down here, straight up to here. For the piece I'm gonna put underneath here. And then, uh, probably right here, to over here for this uh, little piece I'm gonna spot weld under here. Now, as you can see, I drenched in, <clears throat> drenched in sweat again. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking uh of course we got you know a lot more to do on that making those pieces and 
actually welding it uh, is going to be a big challenge for me, but uh, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that little patch done and hopefully weld it in solid. Then we'll go back to uh, cutting the bottom part of that pan out. And uh, I was going to do a step, put a step in it like I showed you on the drawing. You know, pretty much uh, overlap weld. But I've been reading how there's moisture get caught in there and rust that out. So I'm probably going to try to do a butt weld on it too if I, if I can. Uh, we'll see how this turns out first. But uh, we'll uh, make that piece next time. Or make those two pieces, one for the tub and one for that uh, piece there. Get those done. Hopefully get those welded on. And then we can start welding on this piece. Hopefully by the end of the week we'll have that piece in and all that done right there. And then we can move on to the uh, floor. We'll start massaging that floor pan out and getting it where we need it to stitch it in. But uh, it's another 100 degree out here even with the fan on and the door open. So I'm, I'm spent and nasty. So uh, it's the first time coming here, uh, you know, work on the Bronco mainly, but we have a, a Healy back there that will start from time to time. And I got another project, there's a 78 Camaro sitting right there that needs attention, but we're gonna get a project done before we move on to another one. And this is it right here. Uh, so if you like, like what you see and I like watching a guy kind of try to figure things out on his own and kind of stumbling through it never never done anything like this before then uh please like comment subscribe i post every monday wednesday and friday and uh and we're making making some progress but uh thanks for watching and i'll see you on next